All right, we're outside here with this beautiful RT Coronet, man. You want to talk about sweet? This baby's been on the rotisserie. The bottom is just as nice as the top. Let's take a close look. Look at that beautiful car, man. Look at the body lines on the hood. Straight as an arrow. All the chrome looking good. That grill's looking great. That RT is so cool, man. I love it. As you look down the side of it, straight as an arrow. Bodywork guy hit it out of the park on this one. Did a beautiful job. All the gaps look good. I see the gaps on the uh, door right here looking sweet. The door is nice and flush with that front fender. Also, you can see all the reflections. I mean, it looks like a blue mirror in there. Door is also nice and flush here. You look in the interior. Door panel looks like it's brand new. All the paint work. The door jam looks like it's brand new. The steering wheel looks new. The dash looks new. I mean, this looks like a brand new 1968 Coronet, baby right off the factory floor we got seat belts in there we got the package tray looking sweet headliner looking sweet dome light looking good i mean just everything about this car is absolutely gorgeous now i'm going to grab the keys here and what's so cool about these coronets is you don't see very many of these you see chargers you see road runners you just don't see many coronets out there oh, i always forget the key goes in upside down on a mopar Look in the trunk. Look at the attention to detail. Look at the trunk, especially on these older cars. You gotta look at the trunk floor. Just looking beautiful. Got the spare tire in there, the jacks in there. You see all the attention to detail down in here. Look at all the paintwork in there looking sweet. She is a beauty. I love the taillights on these absolutely gorgeous the whole tail panel is just cool as hell on this thing that rt emblem in there the dual exhaust as you look down the passenger side just as straight as the driver's side looking sweet she is a beauty and then the rake on the car man it's got a great stance to it of course got a lot of rubber out back got a little bit of rubber out front we got those magnum 500s i mean i love it Hey guys, we're gonna inspect this car so you can call Tom and ask any question you want at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you all about this beauty. Let's take this beauty for a ride. 440 power. Sounds amazing, I tell you what. They did a great job picking out the muffler combination on this thing. It's just loud enough to sound like a muscle car, but not too loud to get you thrown in jail. Running great too, man. Just put the hammer down. That's about half throttle. Set you right back in the seats. Look at this, driving with no hands, going straight as an arrow. And look at the reflections on that hood. Tell you what, it looks like a big blue mirror out there. I love the scoop out there. Actually, it's not a scoop, it's just kind of a bump out there. Then the trim that goes around it. Tell you, we're cruising along here. I think I'd drive this baby to Florida right now. You wanna go to Florida? Let's go. Better have a good gas card. You see down here on the dash, everything looking sweet. Look how nice all that looks. You Mopar guys know, these dashes don't look this nice, hardly ever. This thing is looking sweet. Looks like it just rolled off the factory floor. Just driving amazing. Brakes feel good. We're gonna get this baby up on the lift so you can see the bottom side. We do that on every car. The bottom side of this one's been all restored back to, uh, it's painted, matter of fact, actually better than uh, a 
original under there. I love the acceleration on this thing. I tell you what, she's got some giddy up. Now, if you'd like to check this baby out in person, we'd love to have you. Come on out to the shop. If you need to fly in, we're close to the airport. If you want to come in on the weekend, just call us and make an appointment. Horn's working. It's a sweet car right here, guys. Let's see the windshield wipers are. Windshield wipers are wiping. Just an amazing car. Now, if you want to send an inspector, got no problem with you sending an inspector either. Just give us a call, let us know they're coming so we can have the car ready for them. Most of the time, the inspectors want to get them up on a lift, so we'll get it up on the lift for them. Now, if you want to fly in, a lot of guys can fly in, you know, we've got the International Airport right here. They can fly in in the morning and then fly right back out in the afternoon. Or if you want to spend the night here, got a lot of cool things to see. You could go down to the Henry, Henry Ford Museum. Having a hard time getting Henry out. Now we're coming up on our shop where we put every car on the lift so you can see the bottom side of every car. The most important part, man, that's the foundation of the car. The suspension, you got to check it out, guys. So stick with us. We're going in the air with this one right now. All right, we're underneath this 68 now, and I'll tell you what, it is pretty under here. As you can see, brand new exhaust, brand new tank, and look at those floors. I know you Mopar guys know when you're looking underneath the Mopar, you normally see a lot of undercoating. Well, no undercoating on this one. This one's painted body collar, baby. She is gorgeous. The spring packs look like they're rebuilt units. The shocks look like they're fairly new. We got new brake lines here. Now, the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. Those are drum brakes in the back. We've got a uh, swing that light around here. The 742 case here, uh, 323 gears in there, and it is a sure grip. We got some Flowmaster mufflers here. They've painted up the drive shaft. Looks like brand new parking brake hardware, and look at the paint on these floors. We got new rubber plugs everywhere. Everything under here is looking sweet. We got crossover pipe here. We got the 727 trans. It is numbers matching to the car, which is sweet. Again, our paintwork, our frame members. Now, when you're looking at these cars, make sure you look at this cross member right here because that's what holds the torsion bars there that keeps your front end up in the air. Um, everything under here looks beautiful. Um, bottom side of the motor is nicely painted. The dates all line up on it. It is numbers matching. Um, steering box looks good. Lower control arms look good. They've actually painted those. They look like bare metal. Sway bars painted to look like bare metal. We got new bushings here. We do have disc brakes up front. Uh, the uh, K member up here is looking good. Uh, core support looks good. I mean, the back side of the bumper is as clean as the front bumper. The front side of the bumper, I should say, on the front bumper. How many times can you say that fast, right? Um, two 25, 60, 15s, then look up inside there. Look at all that, all painted up looking sweet. Now the reason that undercoating is up there is in case this tire throws a rock up there, that's gonna help protect it from giving you an owie in the paint on the uh, top side. You can see that paint work is absolutely beautiful. We got a good looking rocker there. Always look at the pinch welds on the rocker. Um, the rocker molding looks good. The torque box there where the spring hook sends looking sweet. Out back here, we got a 245 60 15. And again, Magnums, man, my favorite wheel on these cars. And they really set off that blue. Let's get under the hood and look at the 440. All right, 440 under the hood. She is numbers matching. The numbers on this thing are right back here above the uh, transmission on the back side of the block. Um, you can see that it all looks stock under here, the exhaust manifolds. Now, it has been upgraded to Hydra Boost brakes. That's the only uh, real 
big upgrade that this car's had, and that is a good one. That was just a hood latch, my cameraman hitting. <laughs> we got a Mopar radiator in it here. Of course, the distributor looks like uh, it's still got points in it. Let me see one ground wire coming out of there, so it hasn't been upgraded to Petronics. It does have the Carter carburetor on it. I mean, everything under here is clean as a whistle. The inner wheelhouses are nicely painted. The firewall is nicely painted. We have Chrysler markings on the heater hoses here. I mean, just everything about this car is phenomenal, you know. Uh, it does have the, uh, the information tag over here. You see that? Bottom side of the hood's nicely painted. The fiberglass has been replaced. I mean, just everything about this car is phenomenal, guys. It's the right color. It's the right motor. It's the right year. It's painted on the bottom. Give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.